Well, it's not just President Biden. Vice President Kamala Harris also suffering through a rough week. Her new team of aides was trying to revamp her image to save her political prospects. But that got off to a rocky start after critics say she bombed her way through this TV interview. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Every day it is time for us to agree that there are things and tools that are available to us to slow this thing down. The 500 million tests that have been ordered that are going to be sent to every, every American, do we know when those are going out? Shortly. Should we have done that sooner? We are doing it. But should we have done it sooner? We are doing it. We have 20,000 sites where people can go, and I urge people to, you can Google it. If you want to figure out how to get across town to some restaurant you heard is great, you usually do Google. <laughs> do Google to find... I... <laughs> Jesse, what was that? That was bad, Sandra, and everybody saw it because it was on network television. When I hear about someone that's trying to revamp their image, I know it's going to fail. Remember Al Gore? He hired the guru, told him to wear earth tones. Doesn't <laughs> matter what Al Gore wears, he's still a boring <laughs> snob. When powerful people stink, they hire consultants to hide their stink. Instead of kind of <coughs> making sure they don't stink, they try to masquerade the stink from the public. Like, you know the guy in high school who didn't shower, he just put on a lot of cologne? Brian knows what I'm talking about. This is what Kamala Harris yeah, is doing. Too well. <laughs> Look inside herself, see why people don't like her, see what she could do better, and work on that instead of paying people to spin better for her. If, if I knew I was doing a network interview and I had a 28% approval rating, <laughs> I would lock myself in a room with all of my aides the entire day before, and I'd war game the whole thing out. I know they'd ask about COVID, the ticket, the testing. I knew what was coming, and I'd be fluent in it. What does she do instead? She walks out into the interview like she's going on a canoe trip. Like she's like, oh, where do I sit? Maybe I'll just dip my paddle. This is serious stuff. And a lot of people don't talk about this, but she is a heartbeat away from the presidency. God forbid anything ever happened to Joe Biden. She's the commander in chief. Mm. Do, are you confident Kamala Harris could calculate a risk assessment? in a Pacific theater if China or North Korea ever decided to test her? I don't think she could handle it. And uh, people are very concerned about that. Uh, including Whoopi Goldberg on The View. Listen. Not only is it insulting, but, uh, you know, it's just crazy. And I, this idea that we have no say over what's happening, like it's already done and we shouldn't give a poop. It is disrespectful to, uh, to Vice President Harris. You know, it's like people would say to me, listen, when you retire or when you leave the show, who do you want to fill in for you? It's like, excuse me, or when they go, oh, she's the young Joy Behar. These are very insulting things to say to people. <sighs> I mean, Dagan, Kamala Harris isn't even making that crowd happy. Uh, Joy is worried about herself, <laughs> not no one else. I, all right, I have a theory. Just hang with me here. I don't believe that Kamala Harris got to where she is being this bad of a liar. She has to be able to bull fib better than this. She's a lawyer and a politician, the two top career choices for charlatans. So this has to be on purpose, this performance. Well, is Harold a lawyer and a politician? <laughs> Sorry. Not anymore. He's not a politician anymore. Okay. I was going to let that go. Okay. Right. I was going to exactly. let that go, Jesse. So, <laughs> she, she has to be doing this on purpose to spotlight how bad it is inside the Biden administration. It's like she's sandbagging for her own preservation mm. to kind of highlight how bad it is inside of this White House. It's like, if I'm blinking hard twice, <laughs> help me. I, I, and just on that note, James Freeman at the Wall Street Journal, he said that you know she's been catching javelins for this administration all year. They put her in, head, ahead, in charge of the border. 
That's one of the biggest disasters. They're trying to blame her for it. James wrote this, time for Harris to cut Biden loose, how to start leading the country right now and win the presidency in 2025. He said, this team is losing and she can best help the country and herself by entering the political mm. equivalent of the NCAA transfer portal. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. Um, Harold, uh, she's she's attempting this reset. She gives this interview. She bombs the interview. She's panned by both sides for it. To Jesse's point, why was she not more prepared? It's an interesting and probably the right question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I do know this. You know, these are hard jobs, and she, I think, has to accept that, and the president has to accept that. They don't give these jobs away. They're demanding. Now, I think she, her, her, her media appearances have at best been uneven, her handling of the border, and it's probably reasons for this, it's just not gone well at all. I come back to what I said with, with the president. I think the vice president's got to understand what her theory or develop a theory of the case around the things that she's been challenged or tasked with doing, and they're all challenging things. I know she's hired a new communications person, Jamal Simmons, who I know well, who's smart, he's seasoned, he's tough, but it's not going to, it's not going to be staff alone. The vice president uh, has to understand uh, that she's going to be judged, and sometimes the judging is going to be favorable, sometimes it's not, but you can't, you can't, you can't swerve off the course if you know where you're trying to go. She's been tasked with two big things, one being the border. I would would tackle that. If she's able to show progress there, a victory there, a coherent policy there that we can follow, the country can, can point to, I think she could find herself uh, uh, staring down uh, uh, an, an alley or a street or a path of victories mm. that could come her way. But right now, there's no theory of the case. The press appearances are too uneven, and the criticism will continue to mount if she can't get herself wow. a victory as well. Brian, to, to show progress at the border, she might have to show up. Maybe they should make that part of her image reset. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you, I mean, remember Donald Trump wanted to get the border sealed. He had trouble doing it with Congress and getting the, the wall built and everything. But guess what? By the time it was done, trial and error, a few firings, a few releases, a few resignations, and he got it right. And he broke it. And my fear is that they're doing it on purpose. And Harold, I hope you're right that she just decided it's too hard. But I just hope they want to eventually seal the border. I just think I could not believe. I thought this was an old headline. Harris teams looks to course changes to reset their political prospects. That I've read that headline like seven <laughs> times already. She's only had the job for a year. And if I could do this one thing, I'm not really an actor by trade, but I'd like to role play for a second and put myself in Harris's shoes. Jesse, would you help me with this? Please. Uh, you be uh, Craig Mel. Melvin. Yes. Can you ask me this question? Yes. Am I running for re-election with Joe Biden? Please answer me. Ask Vice me President question. Harris, are you running for re-election with Joe Biden? <laughs> yes. That's it. You say yes. I want the job another four years. That's all. That's all. Uh, Liz Cheney, uh, not possible. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. You're talking about a column. That's all. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome. Great interview. All right. A for effort. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.